protocols suspended. All non-essential protocols suspended. Phaeton is standing by for larval compound dispersal. Reactor stable. Compound dispersal may commence. Affirmative. Dispersing. Incoming message from Rizzo's distillation station. What have you done? What in law's name have you done? You hijacked our atmosphere. Are you trying to kill us all? No. You're trying to kill my symbiotes. I'm not going to let you destroy everything I've built. I can still fix this. I can undo the damage you've done. End of transmission. Yes, I know you're hungry. Be patient. I'll feed you soon enough. Just a guest. The one I told you about. The inspector. Welcome! We were just talking about you. Ah, my superior and I. I know what you've done. Hijacked Phaeton. Contaminated the air we breathe with your poison. You think you've saved this colony? All you've done is robbed Halcyon of its last chance at real happiness. And you've angered my queen. Nope. Not even a little. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to feed you to the queen, and then I'm going to find a way to repair the damage you've done. Don't be afraid. She can smell fear, and it makes her absolutely ravenous. Your Highness! Dinner is served. Wait, no, not me. Them! Merciful Law! Stop! Big mistake! inside the queen's digestive tract? Wait, no. That's his leg on the ground over there. Okay, well, um, this is interesting. Mr. Ludovico never signed my release, so I'm contractually obligated to stay by my post. Assistant Harwell, confectioner and munitions department. How may I be of assistance? Oh yes, that'll happen. Negative emotions trigger the Queen's appetite. Mr. Ludovico must have been pretty terrified. Technically speaking, she is the broodmother of a species of vermiform parasites native to Eridanos. We've been using them as additives in Spectrum Brown. Mr. Ludovico installed some emergency defensive countermeasures in the event of an unplanned feeding episode. But I'll need his permission before I can activate those countermeasures. You think so? All I heard was a gurgling scream, but I guess you were closer to the feeding event than I was. Emergency defense system activated. Thank you for minding the flames. Happy customers are repeat customers. 
Friend, I see you're still struggling with the queen. Well, all right, but only because you're so sweet and courteous like. Emergency defense system activated. Thank you for minding the flames. Happy customers are repeat customers. Making it look easy. Incoming! <laughs> Let me guess, you want my help for the third time? Never thought of it that way. I'd hate to make your acquaintance after the Queen's devoured you. That sounds like an unpleasant experience for everyone involved. Emergency defense system activated. Thank you for minding the flames. Happy customers are repeat customers. Incoming! You made it. I guess happy customers really are repeat customers. Here, I had something I wanted to give you. This is a golden ticket. Good for one free tour of the Purpleberry Orchards. This is my way of showing you that I appreciate you just for being alive. Well, no, I suppose I appreciate you for all types of reasons. For example, despite your obvious talent for violence, you're not killing me. Oh, you're very welcome. 
I do regret the untimely demise of our broodmother, but my passenger is flooding my brain with all sorts of happy feelings, so I don't mind all that much. Oh, that's what I call the slug I've bonded with. It's gonna be a part of me until I pass through the gates of oblivion and my atoms scatter into the void. Sounds like what you need is a passenger of your own. Ah, oh, so they were twins, were they? I know how that goes. I'm a twin myself, you know. Do you have any idea? I must have dreamed up a hundred different ways to kill Ludovico. I'll be honest, eaten alive by the Queen of the Brain Slugs wasn't on that list. I imagine this moment would be a little more cathartic. But Belinda's still gone, and I don't feel all that different. I know. You're right. I can't go back to the way things were. I can't return to my old life because it was never my life to begin with. It was shared. <laughs> never mind, you don't need to listen to this. Thank you again for your help, Captain. I never would have made it this far without you. Welcome back, Captain. Or shall I call you Inspector? What can I do for you? During your absence, I passed the time by simulating a number of hypothetical conclusions to this case. Unfortunately, my understanding of the facts is limited, and my appraisal of the individuals involved is not flattering. Therefore, my conclusions are inaccurate. I have been awaiting closure for the details of your investigation. However, I have also been keenly aware of your absence. I have a growing library of information about you. Attitude, behavioral tendencies, dietary habits, sleep patterns. Cataloging human behavior is essential to maintaining my simulation protocols. Will you satisfy my curiosity subroutines? And tell me who killed Halcyon Helen? That seems impossible. Can you elaborate for me? Interesting. I did not account for the possibility of multiple identities in my simulations. This information is valuable to me. I will update my behavior simulation protocol accordingly. Thank you, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Traveling the system with you, Captain. Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. <laughs> 